So, what is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you live uh, because we're going to be taking today for um, a very last, not last minute, but very more so. Of, uh, I got a push the update video, and that's due to, of course, the big situation going on right now. And um, a lot has to be addressed in this video, so. I just want to, first of all, say thank you all for watching. Thank you all for all of your support. Um, and a lot is probably going to change over the next couple of weeks. So from April to July, because this actually was supposed to be from May to July. Um, actually, no, it was supposed to be from May to August. But due to the current situation, I had to change up a lot of everything. And there's so much that has to be addressed within the video, because I think at a point, I'm sure you guys would like to hear exactly um, what my input is on the situation at hand. Um, so as we all know, the situation at large is, well, the virus. And for some weird reason, YouTube has decided to say if you speak on the situation that um, you can get penalized for it, which I don't really care because I'm not, I'm partnered, but I'm not, um, mod I, I, there's a lot of, no to it because you know my sub count is not in that range and then there's a whole lot of people getting flagged or demonetized for situ for the situation so it's a very petty situation petty situation very petty and unfortunate situation to be in because youtube really has just hurt a lot of its content creators um whether we're little or big content creators it's been a very nasty situation for the last couple of years um has not gotten better i'm not gonna lie and just the overall of it is due to the virus it's making it a lot harder but you are gonna at least see a lot of content because of the whole stay at home order and i do advise for anyone please stay home get yourself some rest get a lot of things going try to just stay as active and as positive as you can through the situation and then hopefully things get better and then hopefully we can all return to our normal lives if not our what we used to do then at least something abrupt to it till it's okay to go back to what we were used to before um and then of course prayers and condolences to any of you who have lost someone during this time or someone who has been affected by the outcomes of things going on at this time. So, um, and my best advice is call your friends, reach out, make sure everybody's okay. That's the best thing I can do or say at this point. Now, for Yu-Gi-Oh! at this time, I think everyone probably knows, but just a big update. Um, the Forbidden Limited list has changed um, and we are now in the um, advert of Master Rule 4. So Master Rule 4 has changed and I want to do a video on that. I want to do a physical video on that so you guys can actually, you know, I can be more in detail about it. And I was already in detail before with a couple of videos before, but I'm going to be very detailed in it this time. And um, just more so now that we're actually affected by it, I want to talk about it even more. Now that it is set in stone, we have our new list, and I can go from there. Then on top of that, um, the 255th event has been postponed. Um, several YCSs and regionals have also been postponed. And at this point, we don't know what Worlds is going to look like. But if Pokemon is anything to go off of, they just canceled Worlds. As a couple, about two weeks ago, they canceled Worlds. So... At this point, we don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh is going to continue to wait it out to see what's exactly going on. If they are going to cancel Worlds, um, a lot of players have said they're okay with the situation as it is. Because, you know, we've looked at a lot of other things in industries. Gaming industries have um, pretty much said no to E3 this year due to the situation. Um, a lot of digital stuff has been going on, a lot of digital events. And so on and so forth. So we wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Konami says, okay, guys, we're going to X World as a safety precaution. Or maybe they're waiting till, the, till June um, to see what it looks like then before the summer. Also to note, 
because of that, they move because of the situation now, they've moved Eternal Code's release date to the end of May um, as a safety precaution as well. So we won't see those new cards till May. The only things they have confirmed to come out still in April are Secret Slayers, which I believe is already out or is coming out this Friday at the time of this recording, and then the week after, um, which I believe is the week of the 15th, they have confirmed, yeah, the week of the, no, the week of the 17th, um, they've said, no, I think it comes out this weekend, I'm not sure, either April 10th or April 17th, um, they have confirmed that, uh, you know, they're still going to move forward with the Machina Commander structure that for the TCG. So your R structure that for Machina is still coming to TCG. There is a full list of it already up of the cards that are being released. The only change I believe is that Bullet Train has been replaced with Snowplow Hustle Russell. And we're still getting Trap Trick um, in the structure deck. And of course the uh, uh, Lotted cards as well. So that is pretty much just that big oversight there. Um, there really has there isn't any tournaments in America right now. There isn't any in Europe. Um, I don't know about Japan. I keep hearing that there's some events going on, but then I heard that they're also going to be doing the whole stay at home order in Japan and in other areas in that region, just as well as safety precautions. Um, and we do know the last major event was a couple of weeks ago, and I was for. New Zealand, and then I think that was the last one till the stay-at-home order has been lifted. So, at least it gives us time to really practice out decks and stuff and get used to our cards if we're not already doing that now. Um, I mean, there's always, of course, other video games you can be playing because Animal Crossing is doing well. Final Fantasy VII's remake is coming out this weekend. <laughs> Resident Evil 3's out. So, you know, a lot of things to play in the meantime and, you know, Call your friends and set up Animal Crossing dates. <laughs> Play you some Duel Links. Um, the YGO Pro... Per, YGO Percy has changed itself. I think it's called Eon um, Co. now. Or Eon Co. I don't... I forget what it was. But it's, it's up now. And if you guys do want to check that out. Um, they have their Discord and everything. So I'm just waiting for YG. YGO Pro ES to get updated and then I can update from there because there was supposed to be an update for April but they're having some issues now because um, Percy changed up the game again so they're going to have that changed up as well if you guys do want to hear about that um, and hopefully that works out there so in the meantime HPJ what are you going to be doing well let's actually talk about that in some brief updates so limited content um, will be issued. So um, if it's not a if it's not a card analysis or discussion video or a deck profile, it's that's it. It's all that's going up. Um, I'm at this point where I have now put a halt to the um, last four or five months that I've done for archetype videos. I put them to a halt um, just due to viewers. Like, I'm doing the best I can with the content that I have and that I make, you know. And, and it's something that I did want to bring up because, you know, I've cut off the comment section. I've, um, for newer videos and for future videos. And I just want to explain where I stand on that. Um, if it already hasn't been said, but hey, I like to make sure things are set in stone. Um, everything on the channel, I do it myself with my hand. And um, I gather my inside information. I put it on in the video description. I do the video descriptions. I do the recording. I do the uploading. All of that is done by this guy. And due to the unwanted need of trolls, because they exist, and just a lot of the negative back and forth in the comment section, I cut off the comment section as of early March. It was a bold decision. It was something I did warn people about on Instagram because people fail to realize that I do a lot of my stuff between Instagram and YouTube. 
because no one's really going on Facebook to check out my information anymore. So I had just decided to start just letting everybody know this is what's going on on Instagram or on Twitter because they do coincide. So it's a wider audience, but it's more of an audience there. And at a point where, because I just mentally can't deal with the drama of what's going on, I just cut off the comment section. And no, nah, it's not coming back. I'm just going to say that now. And I'm okay with that being where it is. Because um, I don't have to deal with such a... I don't have to have a headache. Or have to step to a level of being so nasty and negative. Or attack people. Because I feel attacked. And then a lot of people also have screamed the whole... Well, don't you want feedback? Yeah, it's called like a comment. I mean, it's called like or dislike. Rather you just... If you don't have anything positive to say, rather than not say it at all. And then it's that whole, you know, the whole issue of constructive criticism. If you're going to give construct, if you're going to give positive feedback, then that's fine. But it was to the point where people were taking advantage of people. It was taking advantage of kindness and trying to use it as weakness. And then trying to downplay my intelligence. And then at that point, I said, well... I'm not here to make any, I'm not here making videos just for people, you know, to piggyback off of you. If you can't build the deck yourself, I'm sorry. I'm not a rocket scientist and I'm not playing hand holder for everybody. I have decks and stuff I have to build on my own strategy, on my own accord, and on the things that I have to deal with. Now, even if people say, oh, we all do with the same meta, that's cute, but also have to remember there's still road that runs around here. So you never know what you'll run into. So you have to plan your decks and strategies according to your pace as a player. Your pace as a duelist. Not everyone else's. And some people for, and a lot of people forget that, whether it's competitive or casual. And at a point, there also brings that of I can't satisfy everybody. I can only satisfy me. And that's where I do have to where I decided, well, I cut the comment section because at a point, it was me, 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 and it's like, I'm not here for you, 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 <laughs> like, I can't help everybody, I'm not here posting everything I do to help everybody, so at a point, that's where the comment section had to be let go of, and also as of today, um, YouTube had just changed up their, um, online structure to their, um, you know, to a lot of the stuff that the the users we do on the channel. So there's a new um, there's a new dashboard attached to YouTube now, and it, it's getting a little easier to use. I'm gonna have to say so. Um, and then of course you have your YouTube Studio on your phone that you can also have access to um, as content creators, and you have access to a lot more things there because they did do an update, and I'm hoping they do another update. Um, to where we can fluctuate a little more. So, yeah, just hopefully a lot of things do come within the future when it comes to that. But, yeah, I did have to put a halt on a lot of things just because of the current situation, both here at home, mentally, physically, and emotionally, just so that I can keep myself together at this time and during these times. Um, also to note, because let's move on to some more positive things outside of that, um, I did get a new phone. Yay! And I do have a new recording app, um, because I didn't put app next to recording, but they get a new recording app, as you can see, kind of similar to the last one, and the other phone is still accessible, so in case I want to stay on this phone for personal reasons, I saw the other phone to help me out as well, and at least try to have that with a lot of older phones. Once I move to a new phone, the older phone becomes a backup phone, and the backup phone helps out um, anywhere the new phone can. Then on top of that, um, you know, it's still going to be a phone-based channel, so uh, until I can get the chance to get to a laptop, maybe a tablet as setting, this is just going to have to be where it is, guys, and, um, I also just want to take into account that just because this channel is ran by its phone doesn't mean that it's no less than any other channel. Sorry, I don't have flashing lights and flashing intros because I ain't waiting 30. So I'm not forcing anyone to wait for 30 seconds. If that's something you like, then go for it. But that's just not me. That has never been me. I like to keep it 
basic. I like to keep it simple. And probably the most editing I'll probably do in this is either music edit into the video or the thumbnail being changed. Because a lot of people enjoy my very simple thumbnail. Take picture here, insert, in, insert initials here, and then go from there. You guys seem to like that, so this is something that I, I will continue to have on the channel. So with all that said, a lot of the stuff is, you know, being changed from one phone to another. Um, and just everything that needs to be together, I'll keep it together. And hopefully you guys continue to enjoy the content from both old subs and new subs. And then on top of that, um, as far as it goes for card analysis and deck pro and discussion videos, as well as deck profiles, still similar thing. You either get your physical or you get your digital and that's never going to change because that is how i roll and it, it's where i can't do one i always can do the other so um yeah that just brings me down to the last part of it and i hope and i know some of you guys in puzzle and dragons who are still watching uh, wanted a bit of an update as well um, my main account hit over 2000 days and my sub account just hit uh, 750 so yeah i wanted to let you guys know that um there wasn't gonna be a video or anything so i just at least wanted to keep you guys updated and informed on that because i know you guys want to hear about that but yeah that is pretty much it so if you guys do have any questions you can hit me up on twitter or instagram um if you guys do so that you know the dms for the tw the twitter and stuff is up the discord still there if you guys want to hit up the discord and you know host, like i said i'm wishing you all the best and i'm sending you guys as much positive vibes as possible through these hard times so please stay safe everyone stay inside unless you're going to get food or essentials and most of that can be brought to you and please just keep a smile on your face thanks everybody for watching and i will catch you guys next time HPJ, I ain't got you. Take care.